take a look at our project portal. So we have caboose delivery system. We have making under chests. Echo, echo, echo. We have uh, caboose tokens. We have styling and sloss and found. So they're really the only like interesting thing that's involved is this. <laughs> the rest of our busy work. Um, so we could do this one if you want. Unless you like busy work. You guys have a preference? Coming up with something new? Or a plan? Or busy work? This one's, I guess, not busy work exactly. Uh, go for the caboose tokens. We can tell you want to. <laughs> yeah, making caboose tokens. Good. Um, for the iron farm station. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think what I would need. Oh, I guess, I guess I need a lot of cobblestone to do that. So it would be mining cobblestone for a while. Unless there's a lot of cobblestone left over someplace. I uh, do have a beacon somewhere. I think I know it get too warm. Let me turn on my, my fan. I thought you wanted to wind the intersection one about tokens on top. I thought you wanted the intersection one about tokens. One second. Do whatever you would like, though. Okay. Um, I thought you would you wanted the intersection one about tokens on top. Let me try and translate those words. The top sign. This top sign. This top sign. This top sign. I feel so confused, JJ Bonzi. I'm so confused. The redelivery feature. Okay. All right. So um, I thought you wanted the. <laughs> Which one do you think you you want to see? I mean, this one. This one is the is the. Uh, this one actually could, could indirectly help this one. Uh, not, I mean, not a whole lot, but uh, actually, I guess it won't. It won't because the, the intersection over by over by this isn't actually very big. Um, all right, well, let's let's look at what the issue is. Um, let's adjust our inventory um, for what we might need. I think where the closest intersection is. Uh, probably the easiest way is if I were to go to um, the Southport Hypermind Station, and then from there um, I can I can show what the issue is. We will want a lever, and then we'll probably have to come back to get more supplies once we actually decide what we want to do. I've done a lot of pondering, and I, uh, and then also. Let me double check a name real quick. Also, um, uh, Nutty Knight on uh, on YouTube has been leaving different suggestions on comments or uh, comments on, on my YouTube videos with different possible ideas. Um, and I think probably probably the the best one to go with might be water streams. This probably doesn't make any sense yet. So we're gonna get to the small rail station uh, over by Hypermind. Poor Hyperman. Um, but basically, so when I go through intersection, um, it pulls in tokens to determine which way we should go. Um, and then as you leave the intersection, it, it gives some tokens back to any chest mine cards that have space. Um, and so, it, it, welcome, uh, Patrick, welcome. Um, it's like floating little things there. Um, and so it gives tokens back to you as you leave the intersection, which were ones that were dropped off coming from the direction you're going to. That was weird. Um, go ahead, giving you tokens that are coming back from the direction you came from. Um, but 
I don't give any caboose tokens back because if I did that then your engine might get caboose tokens and then that would kind of break everything so each of the intersections start to kind of accumulate uh, caboose tokens over time which can cause problems so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to this place over here but then we're gonna run back out to the intersection we're just looking at so we can look at the problem let's wait for the caboose to come through so I don't bump it as it's as it's arriving okay all right we're good. so let's run over to I need to get some more fish to at some point but anyway um, so this is related stuff so this is it absorbs uh, caboose tokens and then it absorbs intersection tokens um, on what are you playing uh, I believe you're asking the no, I'm playing on the PC I believe is what you're asking this one gives gives tokens back so as as the train is leaving here it's giving tokens back um, this over here this is absorbing tokens to then tell the intersection which way you want to go uh, that same sort of idea is on all all directions so this way we're not actually ever coming this direction so I kind of have it a little walk but so here it's accepting intersection two south and it's accepting uh, caboose tokens yeah minecraft uh, and then same thing over that direction it's accepting one token so what we want to do is we want to pop down into the mechanisms down here um, and so from each direction it accepts either the caboose or the um, or the actual destination you want to go to accepts those tokens puts it into here um, and then what happens is when um, when the actual um, let's see so it accepts them and then is there what's under here How does this work? Um, yeah, so this is only the intersection. So at some point, if we get back to the main rail station, you can see how crazy that build is. So now I need to figure out... So actually, one thing I've noticed is that the intersection has has been kind of broken in a little while. Uh, we, only, we only are traveling one way anyway. But this thing has a bunch of extra north tokens than it should have. So that, those shouldn't really be there. <laughs> um, so that's kind of a problem. But... What we can do is I can just chuck those in here. That didn't work. I need to chuck them into the hopper here. There we go. There we go. So those those will work their way up and then be picked up by a train coming back. Um, but so if we come this direction, so what this does is if there are those tokens, it sends a signal and changes the intersection to make, say you want to go through, you want to go north of the intersection, and then. Um, I just bottle flipped on uh, bottle flipped on your bed and it landed. Wow, cool. Um, this one here uh, takes the stuff, and then any extras it puts caboose tokens in here. So they're just sitting here. They don't they don't ever get back to where you want to go. So there's 19 tokens there, and then if we come over to this side, there's going to be another chest where they just sort of accumulate, and so eventually we'd run out over time. Um, so they will probably be in a chest that we can't really see from here. Um, can I break this? And this. Okay. So this chest is where I would expect to see caboose tokens. Interesting. Huh. So for some reason. They don't actually dispense from there. It's interesting. Yeah, it's cobblestone, but it's uh, they're a little they're labeled in a certain way. So because they're 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 uh, they have that name, I'm I'm able to sort them uniquely. That's interesting that this isn't actually empty. Hmm. Um. Is there uh, 
Trying to figure out what's what here. So this is getting lit up by something. Yeah, trying to figure out, so that's probably wrong. I guess let's let's pop our heads out here. It's gonna break the rail, so hopefully no one's trying to use the rail. Okay, so this is checking if this thing has enough caboose tokens. Which is fine. Okay, that, that's right. That's right. Okay. Let's put that back. Um, so if there's enough, it'll reach down here, and then this will trigger that, which will allow, which will toggle this and allow another one to come down here. And then that same signal, we need to go this direction. We would never get that far. Interesting. Um, so, if I had a repeater, which I don't, but I have enough stuff I can make a repeater. Is this a silk touch pick? It is, okay. So let's get a couple more resources. So my plan wasn't to debug this, but it's important to, if I notice something that's broken, fix it. So I think if we um, make a repeater, so when when there's enough caboose tokens uh, inside of that um, that hopper up there, it will send enough power to power this block, which goes that direction, which releases one, but then it also needs to go this direction. And if we can just throw a block on top of that, whoop, um, and the only guy who's chatting, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're more observers. <laughs> so that will power that line, which will be on a delay that isn't ever finished. Did I not finish this project at all? I don't understand. There. Okay. Then, uh, then that signal will come over there, and the idea is that will clear uh, these these things. So let's take these back. And what we can do is if we come up top, um, so they're coming into there. Welcome, little spooky. Were they still clearing? I guess those are probably still clearing. I'm pondering. So these will never these were never clearing here. But there's no tokens in here. I, mean, I guess it's I guess the reason why I never made this side is because um, this what this intersection I, I've never I've never actually have anything going west or uh, east east right now um, and so like I don't have anything ever anybody ever turning that direction because there's nothing over there right now so I never really noticed this was broken um, but this should fix it I think so if we have let's see a caboose token in here. And then we're going to go up top, and we're going to put one more caboose token in there. And that should end up with just one left over, because it has replaced it. That probably doesn't make any sense, but anyway. So, if we come over here. So if we throw... So there's six in there right now. The spot right here. And if we put one more... It absorbed it. It still only has six, because that's, that's the threshold to letting it go through. So let's... Oh. Had a rollback. Do I have any drop frames? Oh, a computer drop frames actually. Interesting. Um, what type? Or when I typed, wow, I'm the only guy who was chatting. Then everyone starts chatting. <laughs> right. Um, so now here, oh, there's actually two. Okay. Interesting. So did this not trigger? In theory, it might. We can uh, we can manually trigger this just to see what happens. So what we want to do is put a button where it's not going to bleed into anything else. So if we put it here, that will be safe. So if we click that... Oh, no. These are all pointing the... This one's pointing the wrong direction. Okay. So now if we click it... No, these are all wrong. Why is this, why is this like this? Who did this? Is there, or is it supposed to be in the direction? 
No. Um, I'm freezing up a bit. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm getting some drop frames. What's so weird is like, um, so I have my upload to, um, to OneDrive stopped and um, I'm not uploading any videos. So it's really just, I restarted Windows and there was a Windows update and now it doesn't work as well. Oh, well. okay. Um, just a little bit, not, okay. So, all right, so it's, oh, I don't know. Not, I guess I don't really know how to fix that. So I have these in place, it'll go that direction and then it will go this direction. It'll, it should clear these out. So now there's, there's one of those. And so if you hit the button, it should eventually send the signal come through. Okay, great. So with that being said, now this chest that's under here is where they go. Okay. So all the intersections are set up like that where, where I mean, it may or may not be accepting these tokens possibly. Thank you for the follow new uh, Blaze Ninja. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, and so these things will be uh, collected and then shipped up top to, for pickup. It should be ones that are not for ticks. Uh, the, I, the delay is, is important for this, so I have to keep it the way it is. It makes me feel better. Um, I thought it was on your, your end when I opened up a different browser and it was still doing it. Hmm. Yeah, I have some drop frames uh, in my OBS. I have 0.8% drop frames. Um, uh, I don't know how to fix it. There was an update to OBS, so maybe I'll, I'll update after the stream. I'll to, if I if I remember, I'll update after the stream. Which one is not for ticks? Oh, you're right. Okay, thank you. Good. Um, so then it goes this way. So these will uh, over time drain all the stations from having caboose tokens. So the the issue is, is that we need to get these to be shipped over somewhere else. So um, each train that comes through, yeah, you're right, you're right, Patrick. Um, each train that comes through will drop off one caboose token. Um, and I don't want anything besides the cabooses to get them back. Um, so um, either I can try and do something where when a caboose travels over a thing, I'm going to detect its caboose and then, um, and then, you know, by pulling in a token, I detect, detect it's a caboose, but then give the caboose, uh, two tokens back. But, but for doing that, that would mean that like right, right now I have this thing over here where this dips down. So I would need a spot where um, where there's enough space where I would have a hopper on the bottom or like a hopper here that would detect that it's caboose. And then, then you know, a certain amount of delay or time set up where it's gonna dip down again, like into one of these things where there's two of them and then grab caboose tokens back. Um, but that would be like, I, I don't, I ideally don't really like where it dips down like this. <laughs> I, I want to reduce the number of those. Oh, I should really fix this track. Oh, that was part of it. Yeah. Um, I really, I don't want to have too many of those things. Yeah, 15 followers for the week. Yep. Um, so I'm trying to reduce those. So I, that would be one solution where I could detect it's a caboose and then give back two caboose tokens. Um, and then, so the, in theory, as, as a caboose travels through the intersection, it would drop off one, uh, like, so if it's coming this direction, drop off one here and go, go over that way. And then as it's leaving, it would, let's see, so pretend like this is the, the, that direction comes back this way. It would end up grabbing another caboose token back. Um, so that's one possibility, but I'd have to make the sink down some more. Alternatively, uh, something like a water stream where there's just a water stream that goes from each intersection to the closest uh, trail rail station. So the water stream would move the the items back. The downside there is that then I need to actually build in 
a water stream path underneath. So in the case of where it gets to here, that's not really possible because it's a you know it's this bridge thing. Um, so I'd have to take up more space. So I think I met my goal. No, I'm still uh, three short for the week. Um, welcome, uh, Funky Frago. Um, on Xbox One, the mine. Uh, Mine carts are faster than on the PC edition. Yeah? Is that true? Interesting. Huh. Um, so. Welcome back, the Puka. Huh? Has your dog filled with food? No, yeah, I wanted 15 for the week. So we weekly follower goal. So I, every week I reset that. Um, so that I, I have my, you know, short goals for, for a larger goal. Um, okay, so I, th I guess probably the best best answer is going to be the thing where it's going to detect that it's going to boost and then give items back. So let's do some... Thank you for the follow, uh, Funky Frago. So let's do um, some testing. We're going to need some items. Um, And we're gonna need some space. So let me think about the items I'll need. I'll need a um, comparator. I'll need repeaters, uh, hoppers. Let's see what items we have here. Um, I could build this in, in uh, creative world and then come back to this, but let's try and build it in survival. You have to a singular hug. Otherwise, otherwise it doesn't know how to do it. I guess. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back to the other rail station. So now, those that have joined, and you want to see how this works. So, uh, it's a rail station, so I can say, I want to go back to Basket Station, where I have all my stuff. So I hit that button. There's, like a, there's a delay of like 30 seconds or so. Welcome back, uh, Pyro. Welcome back. Um, so we get this button. And then we hop into here, and then in, in a second, or you know, less than a second, I guess, this thing arrives. So it says, it's I'm an engine. And I, in intersection two, I want to go south, right? Um, and then if we look over here, there's a bunch of caboose tokens. So in theory, I wouldn't actually need as many caboose tokens each time. Uh, I am doing good. I'm doing good. So we're going to hop in the train. We hit go. And now our train of three cars is going to travel to um, to the basket rail, the basket station, rather. So we travel to the intersection. In that case, we're going through the, the default direction, so we don't really have to worry about um, the tokens. But then we're going to approach the railroad crossing. Um, so here's the railroad crossing coming up. So because we're going through, it's brought up the things, makes noise, and little lights go off. And so that detects when the whole train goes through. And then we're going to go to the big rail station coming up. And then we'll grab some supplies, and then we'll start building... Um, um, I guess we can start building it... Um, where's the easiest spot to start? Redstone. Yes. Lots of redstone. My sound is cut out. I have slightly less drop frames than before. I'm not really sure why I'd be dropping frames. I don't know. It's a sad day. So then the train arrives, and all the stuff goes down there. This is so cool. I have to say, I'm sad. It's not on uh, on a server. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We do have the sorter thing. Yeah, so I, I mean... Yeah, I have Basketopia I'm going to be building. At some point, I want to build this big complex game. Um, in Minecraft, so that'd be something else I could potentially build on the on the Patreon server. I could have that be a um, you know another side project <laughs> uh, where, where I could build that in because that that's a server that is most likely going to be um, you know I mean like I, I don't see us resetting the the Patreon server um, you know I don't I mean at least for me like there's there's still space to build and like there's everything doesn't already exist like we don't have a gold farm like there's all these farms that we could have that don't exist yet so it's not like the server's done kind of thing so uh, all right where we wanted uh, some redstone stuff so I, I might I might I might build it on there 
possibly, um, depending on what the case is. So we have uh, this, and we want some of those. I guess we can take the whole stack. We want hoppers. We will need uh, droppers. We have a lot of droppers somewhere. Uh, you were holding too many frames. Yes, yeah, so I had to drop them. Right. <laughs> that is why. That is why I'm dropping frames now. Right. Too many frames. Um, all right. We don't need these. Let's have just a miscellaneous chest. This looks like miscellaneous to me. Uh, oh, droppers. Awesome. Good. Furnaces to zap some leg. We don't like signs. We might need some, if because we, we're going to be breaking some gravel, it's possible that the gravel will turn into flint. So we need replacement flint, or replacement gravel. Um, we're going to need caboose tokens and miscellaneous tokens. So let's actually get um, a, I think there might be an anvil upstairs, but we'll, we'll put this animal down somewhere. So we can rename some, oh, there's one right there. Okay, I'm right. So we want to take a stack of cobble. This cobble chest is a little crazy. Uh, hey Basket, if you said I missed it, but how did the test go? I failed. Um, <laughs> you're talking about the the PHP test. Um, so that it like it was a paper test, so it took forever for them to actually grade it. It was a programming test on paper, um, and the. Um, yeah, it stinks. Um, and so then they got an email saying that I didn't pass. But like, so the test is pass or fail. They don't tell you what percent you need right. They don't tell you what percent you got wrong or right or whatever. And then they also don't tell you like anything you got wrong or anything like that. It's just a pass or fail. That's it. And then they said, we can give you a discount code to take it again. So I'm not worried about it now. <laughs> uh, oh, well, we can do it. Um, all right, let me think about what else I might need before, so I don't get over there and have to come back. Um, I might need more... Let's make some more repeaters. Do I have mods? I do not have any... Uh, well, oh, I'm sorry. Do you have mods on BasketMC? You're referring to the server I'm on. Uh, I'm not playing with any mods right now. There is... This is all survival. There is a couple different command blocks for like being able to skip night. But otherwise, this is all survival. Yeah, those are... Yeah. It does think. It does think. Right. I mean, I, I've been programming it uh, in PHP like every single day for the last I don't know, ten years maybe, something like that. Maybe the last. I don't know. Not sure. Um, and uh, and so I'm not really too worried about my ability to do it. And I learned. I mean, through the process, I learned a bunch of different stuff about the new versions of PHP. Um, oh, there's another repeater. Um, so I'm not too worried about like. And I, and I didn't really need to take the test. So it was sort of just an extra thing I was doing. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's make some repeaters like that. And we're going to need some more redstone before we can make more repeaters. But I figure I might need some repeaters. So let's um, make some. Okay. So my audible.com is going well. <laughs> I've been... Uh, been listening to um, uh, Ready Player One. I'm actually nearly done. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Right now, you are on Xbox One. Cool. That is cool. I don't have an Xbox. I think the what they just had a launch party. Was it last night or the night before? For the uh, for the new Xbox, whatever it's called. Um, okay, I think we have all the things we'll need. To make it, we'll, we'll find out. I love these audible, uh, audible plugs. Yeah, <laughs> audible Uh So we're gonna go like this. Do, 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 do. So then we'll hop in the cart. Wait for the other two carts to arrive. It takes uh, about thirty seconds or so for the all the stuff. Yeah, actually, I, I guess before, for those that haven't seen this before. So this is, you can choose your destination, and then if we come into here, this is the destination picker stuff. That's, that that alone is pretty crazy looking. Um, and then if we come down here, 
this thing in here is where the actual tokens hang out. So as you click on a destination, items are, are dispensed from inside of these, and then they're brought down to the engine. Um, so if you come down here and down here, so then this is where the engine actually is and then collects some stuff. And then it goes up and there's the caboose. The next next destination caboose is there. And then there's a whole stack of stuff over there. And most of this is just empty space. But um, And so then there's a whole stack of carts that are hanging out down inside of here. Right there. Uh, did you build some of this stuff when, uh, when you were uh, the last days? Um, I built, I've been, yeah, I've been building this off and on every now and then. So, um, so I built some of this probably when, when you were gone. Um, are you bolts? I mean nuts. Are you nuts? I'm so confused. Confused by both of you. Uh, what do you mean, how? What's your, what's your question? How? So let's go back to the other spot, which is closer to the intersection. We want to build that. So we'll just head on over there. And uh, it'll observe it. It is, it is pretty crazy. It is. Uh, I mean, I've been working on this project um, for probably a couple years now, I, I would think. Let me see when uh, my first Hypermind Season 2 was. My first video for that. Hypermind. Maybe a little bit of time while we're traveling on the rail. So I can look it up real quick. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm gonna have to page each page. It's, it's something I didn't really realize how many pages there are. Um, all right, which one is? Let's lay it. Let see. I'll get there eventually. Hypermine Vaz working on the rail still. That's still the rail. Um. You make it up as you go, yeah. Uh, uh, like, how did I learn? Yeah, so I made, I just sort of figured it out as I go. So, like, I, I had the idea, because in, in Minecraft you can't attach, unless, unless you're doing modded, you can't attach trains together. Okay, it looks like Hypermine Season 1 uh, was March 15th, 2016. So, a little bit more than a year. Something like that. Okay. Um, so, I, I sort of had the idea that I wanted to be able to do trains... And destinations where it, you'll it'll pick your destination at intersections, uh, but you can't actually attach the carts together. So I had to sort of figure out all the different parts and sort of play around with the ideas and stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we are here. Let's let's walk over to the intersection over here, and we're gonna try to build the first of the destination pickers. Um, I know how to um, work and train. Um, so the actual stuff that is accepting and, and, and delivering the tokens are actually way over here. So this is where it's grab it's driving off other tokens. So a little bit further down, we can do the other part of it. So it might be more advantageous to have it here, where this is going to be the dip down spot. So we're going to remove these, and uh, and I guess the neighboring blocks. So we'll remove these and, and hopefully, okay, well, luckily we brought extra flint, <laughs> or extra gravel. All right, and then in the middle, right here, this is gonna be two hoppers uh, facing into, I'm using my, I'll need those in a little bit, so I won't, uh, I don't wanna use up all those blocks. So like that. All right, and then we want two hoppers facing into those. And then we can put in the rest of the blocks back. And I think, actually, I guess we want to have these be uh, gravel. Which means we probably want these bottom ones here um, to be the cobblestone. Um, in minecart, it's possible. Planner. I'm not sure what, uh, what words you're saying. I'm so confused. Oh, we don't need to foot. There we go. Okay. So let's put in um, these blocks here, and then we can put in the gravel. 
Um, yeah, I guess just any gravel, right? It doesn't matter which gravel. So then those exist there. And then we need to just put in the regular rail back in. I don't have... I thought, oh, I was going to say, one of these was a power rail. I found it. Okay, there we go. So then as this train leaves, it's going to dip down. And if possible, it will absorb these items. Um, he knows how to make uh, a train. Cool. Not mine carts. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is we want to detect when the cart coming through. Is the cart coming through a caboose? So um, we want to kind of see... Because there's going to be some delay built into the thing. So I might want to have, like, let's say here is where we would want to detect if it's a caboose. So let's try to go... Oh, that's interesting. So I'll have to make sure that I power this other stuff. I guess that makes sense. That it was like that. So we can power... I guess that'll cause a problem. Because we can't really power that. Um, if there's a... If there's a hopper here, so let's actually not do it here, I guess. So let's find where that torch is. Put the torch back. And then we'll do... Because we can, we can always add in delays. It's harder to remove delays. You know how to do a train in Minecraft? Cool. Me too. Alright, so then... Um, so we can always add in more delays. So let's do it here instead. So this is going to be... Um, some hoppers that go down. Um, so it, it's not going to go down too far, but so for now we'll just do that. So we can put the block back on top. Uh, it'll work? Cool. So then this thing will detect, is the thing coming through a caboose? And we just have to make sure we have the timing right to so that when it gets over here, that it will dispense items. Um, oh, and actually we... Yeah, we, we we might have to adjust the the timer possibly. Welcome F five Jake, welcome to the stream. Um, so then we need to get down there and work on stuff. So what we're gonna do, and actually these I'm gonna take out for now, um, and I'll put those back in later. But we're gonna need to add in a couple things down here. Um, so just to make it easier, I have this cobblestone underneath. So I'm not I'm gonna build all my stuff underneath. I have this cobblestone there. Um, are you wearing, uh, Team 10 merch? No, this is actually Team BS, uh, merchandise. Um, so this is, uh, Team BS is Basket and Scotty. Um, and so, and my buddy and I, uh, Scotty Garbitas, uh, we play, uh, Complete the Monument Maps together. And these shirts are available for purchase, I believe. Uh, I think on my website. <laughs> um, and then main, mainly I'm the only one that's really purchased them, but that's okay. Alright, so this is the space down below. And then we have to remember it's kind of stepping over that way, so we'll head this direction. Uh, do I have a? Oh, I do have a shovel. How convenient. So we're gonna snake this that way, and we're trying to find. Okay, so this is the opening area here, and then coming up. Ah, there we go. So here is that hopper that we just added in. So let's clear out a little bit of space. This is here because this is the dip down. Um. Okay. Uh, BS is is Basket and Scotty. Yep, Basket and Scotty. Um, he doesn't he doesn't get rid of the tree. Uh, how many more wool blocks do are you have left? So currently in the live episodes, I think we have three three left. If you attended the, the stream, I believe we are down to having needing two left. All right, let's uh, swap these blocks out. And then we're gonna put those in there for now. I might have to remove some more stuff. Okay, so then what we wanna do is we want droppers facing upward. So what we're gonna do, just so I can easily get down here again, I'm gonna take out this and make this be my little path to get up. Um, like so. So we'll have we're gonna have droppers facing up, and then uh, one more set, and then this is gonna be where the hoppers are, 
facing into these. So we're just going to aim for the edge of that rail. So these hoppers are facing into where the train's going to go by. Do I have... Oh, I don't have ladders. Okay, so I might have to pill her out every now and then. But, so then the idea is, this thing will accept the items. Thank you for the follow, Mick, Mac, Moo, Triple M, 3M. Um, so they're going to come down this way, and we want to detect that an item has gone through. Um, so what we can do is, uh, if we have a chest that it goes into... Oh, I guess... All right, we only want to accept... Uh, certain tokens because we don't want to just take anything that goes through yes hopper yep uh, you're new to mixer mixer is super sweet um, so it's it's very very low latency right now I'm actually having a little bit of drop frames but that's my own computer Windows issues uh, but otherwise it's this is super fast okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the regular sort of sorting system so we want to have this goes here um, it's going to remember how this works. Um, this hopper actually needs to face into the wall. So we're going to have to fix the rail up top in a second. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. This one, which one's which? The top one here needs to be facing into the wall. So we're going to break that. Face into the wall. And then this one is going to face... Uh, into the middle. So I'm gonna, that's gonna fall. That's fine. So then this is gonna face into there. Um, welcome to the mixer. Yeah. And then uh, this will take out. Because this is gonna go actually go straight down. And I can't really get to there very easily. Oh, here, we take this out. Like that. Okay. We're going to need some blocks to detect off of that. So we can take these out. Try to figure out how to position all this. I need to get up top, I think, to really see what's going on. This is hurting your brain. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Thanks for stopping by. Um, so let's put these blocks to get out. We're going to have to, I don't have any ladders, so we're going to have to just pillar out every time. Um, okay, right, so yeah, here is where I'm going to have a comparator, um, so I guess what we can do, um, I don't want to lose all these items into this hopper, here, we can do that, there we go, that's going to go away, so now we can do, put this on top, we're going to have a comparator that's reading off of this, so this thing eventually will have some items stuck in there, I only planned something, really, only uh, planning something when you're bored. Um, I don't know what letters you're typing. This looks like uh, garbage to me. I understand. Please, uh, please don't do that. Oops, I'm gonna hit the wrong buttons. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Okay. So that will read there, and we'll send a signal into that when. Um, when it actually gets, uh, when there's a signal that happens here. So we want to pull that signal off. So there's going to be a block here in a second. Um, and then right below that, there's going to be some more, let's see, let me think about how to do this. So we're going to have some, oh, I already have, okay. Some of these blocks to keep track of the cables. So we have this here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I had to, I had to. <laughs> you got it? Okay, cool. Um, so then there's going to be a block here. So I'm going to have redstone here. And what we want to do is get the signal that goes from there. So it's going to grab that signal when this thing has enough strength that comes through. Um, and then... I need to double check a couple things. Well, let's go down below. And, uh, oh, we have to light, light up down here, too. Don't forget about that. So this is the block that's getting powered. And let's see. This is the thing here that we want to not... We want to have this be have a torch underneath it. 
So we need a torch. Redstone torch. Right here. When there's the item that passes through there. So let's make a little bit of room to walk around. Okay. So then... That's stopping it from, from going. So right now we can actually just put items up there. So we need to kind of connect things together. So when the signal strength gets to a certain amount... Um, so girl 6676. So what that is, that's a stream boss. So as people do followers or donate money, that person, that whoever is currently the stream boss uh, loses uh, hit points. Once that gets down to zero, whoever was the one that did the killing below uh, becomes the new uh, stream boss for, and then gets a thousand hit points. So then it's sort of, they get to hang out um, to uh, until the duration of their HP. So that's what that is. So then there's a, there's a torch on top of this. So we don't want to interact with this. And actually, this being here is a problem. Um, because this is the block I'm trying to read off of, but now it's going to be powered from uh, because of this. So we can't really have these here. So we kind of need to rearrange. I'm trying to build things in a kind of a cramped space. So instead, let's have this point this direction. So we're going to break the rail. Maybe. Yeah. We're gonna break. We're gonna break some stuff. That's fine. You don't have Twitter bot. Uh, you don't have Twitter bot. Oh, I, I understand. What you're saying. Twitter bot. All right. So then we can remove these, and that that they'll still go back there, but they won't be on top of a hopper. Okay. So let's get. Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that sound? <laughs> you are now. Pyro, you are the stream boss, and now you're up top in the donation thing. You're the first donation thing on my stream labs. I appreciate it, Pyro. <laughs> I was like, what's that noise? <laughs> it's like somebody hacked my computer. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot where I pulled that from. I, that was like a while ago I set that up. Anyway, where was it? Um, so what we want to do is we want to um, pull... I guess we should, uh, so we're gonna break this too. We're gonna break a lot of stuff. We'll fix the top in a, in a little bit. Nobody uses the train anyway. Um, I got concerned <laughs> for a moment. I think I was the first one on stream jar too. Yeah, it could be, it could be. Um, yeah, and then I switched over to this one. All right, so we, let's see. Um, so we want to have these come this way. And I think, I can't, oh, I need to be on the edge. Ugh. I can't get it. Okay. Uh, that's good. And then one more. Right. And then while we're up here, we can do that. This is going to be switched back to a regular cobblestone. Oh, no, I guess not cobblestone. We'll do we'll do this. Uh, so this goes here. Uh, yeah, it won't really be visible. That's fine. And then so then we do comparator on top of that. Um, I was just thinking of that too. How do you donate? Yes, that is how you donate. So that is now detecting that I have stuff in here. Which is good, because I want to actually take that away. And put it over here. Oop. There's also a link in the description. Yes, that's true. Um, I, the link in the description does point to the, the Streamlabs one, I assume, right? Not to the old stream jar, I hope. Uh, can you say, uh, no, I cannot. I can say welcome though. I don't, I don't do, I don't do shoutouts. Um, but welcome to the stream, uh, Plam, Plampano, Plampano? I'm sure that, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Plamp, Plampano, version three, not version two, not version one, but version three. Welcome. Okay. So there's going to be a block underneath that. And then this can just be a regular cobblestone. Oh, I don't want to do, this is the caboose tokens. And we want those. Here we go. Regular cobblestone. We can put that in. And then we can put gravel on top. On Mixer, there is no description. Oh, if you're on, uh, yeah, if you're on Xbox, there's, I don't think there's a description. Uh, but if you're on, you know, Windows or whatever, then down below it should show. Time for you to go to bed. Good night to the puka. It's pre. 
pre what? Pre pre version version three? Pre? Okay, so this is detecting <laughs> when items go through. We're we're on lots of tangents, but I think we're I think we're making progress very slowly. So let's pop down here. <laughs> Uh, one thing we want to keep in mind is where the level that the other stuff is coming through. So it's actually on this this level. So we kind of want to build this in a way. I mean, I guess I could have this thing have a little item elevator to go up and go over all this. That might be easier, I guess. Can you build a diamond hoe? Uh, I don't actually have any diamonds on the server. <laughs> so no, I can't. I'm very poor on the server. Um, all right, so this is going to go. This block is powered. Uh, when when there's enough of a signal. So let's take these and go like that. And so we can put these here, but they're not connecting right now. This thing is a problem. It's kind of in my way. If we have a block next to this torch, does that power it? Yes. How am I going to do this? We can make this be a slab. And then I think I can get the signal down. So let's make a workbench. What are we doing? So, uh, Kabusto, so there's uh, intersections. You're sort of familiar with the project, but basically, so there's intersections that you travel through. And it absorbs tokens to know where did you want to go, and then also when is the train done. Um, yes, I, I do. I don't know if I hate bad words, but I just don't allow bad words in this thing. Um, so the because we're family friendly, we're family friendly. Um, so it, it absorbs tokens, and um, and then uh, so it knows which way you want to go, and then when is your train done. The caboose tokens is when your train is done, and I want to not. Right now, those, those tokens are just sort of piling up in here. And eventually, I'd run out in the stations, and then everything would be bad. So the goal is, is I'm trying to make it so the Gaboose tokens don't run out. Um, so what we're going to do is put that in. And I think um, that I can now pull the signal down. Let me try and fix my inventory. Um, I guess I don't need that much dirt. There we go. Fixed. Um... What? I haven't read all that through, so if any moderator feels like it's bannable, let me know. Or don't let me know, just do it. <laughs> okay, so because this did carry down, we can see that it's an, it's enough of a signal. So then what we want to do is we want to carry that over um, this way. And we're trying to get to that with enough strength. But here we can't, we don't want to run into that. So it's really going to be a repeater right here. It was a joke. Well, no, I, I, I haven't fully read it. I, I didn't quite follow the joke. So I'm just letting a moderator know that if they feel like that it was inappropriate, then a warning if they want or, you know, whatever they feel. That's why they're moderators. I trust them. So we're going to put this here. Um, <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Decided. Asked and answered. Okay, so we're going to go like this and put that like that. So what this is saying... Oh, I see. There's bleed bleed effect from that, so that's not good. We can't do that. So what we need to do is put this here. And then we're going to pull the signal here instead. So we're going to go like this. We're going to have this here. A block on top. And then a redstone signal. I don't think this will really work. That might work, actually. That might work. I promise I won't do it again. I'm so confused. Um, okay, good. Don't do it again. <laughs> so I guess I guess your your message was just deleted or not banned. So that's that's a good thing. All right. So the, the when this thing has enough of a signal, the idea is that this thing might toggle. We'll have to see. Um, can I actually access? No, I can't access anything that's it's looking at. So I, I can't really do that. Um, but we can see if things start going down all of a sudden. So let's go up top. Pop up here. Um, and then we can actually swap this back in. So let's put 
this here. And we can put that there. Okay, good. So that's all back to normal. Now here, good to hear. Yes, that is good to hear. So here, we can put that in. And then potentially there might be six caboose tokens. And then it might be four of those. No. So it might be that I actually need a little bit of a stronger signal. Or this isn't working at all. That's another possibility. Okay, so that tells me that this is not working. Okay, so <laughs> let's, but we, we want to test to see where it's not working. So we're going to put in um, six caboose tokens. Let's do seven. And then I believe it's supposed to be four of each of these. So what this is doing is it's, it's only going to accept either cobblestone named blah, 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 or cobblestone named BR caboose, basket rail caboose. Is the idea. Um, and now I need to put stuff down there so it doesn't look so ugly. I can target that actually. Maybe. Maybe. No, I can't. Okay, let's go down <laughs> down below and see where the signal is getting to. So not at all. So it's powering this. Oh no, it's getting to here. Okay, that's pretty close. So then what we want to do is actually pull this line from this block instead. So here, and then we need to snake that over that direction. Uh, that's not my pickaxe. Do, 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 do. So alternatively, we could pull it that direction, but we don't want to run into, yeah, this thing would, would, would power it. So we don't want to do that. Okay, so we can go like this, and then run this this direction. So that stayed active for longer than I expected. But, oh, this thing isn't doing anything. Oh, I'm missing, ah, I, I figured it out. <laughs> I'm missing a hopper. So this thing, hopper needs to point into that. Is it? So this is not powered, so this hopper is not locked. But this is not working. Why? Huh. Let's see, so what is what? So this block is being powered. Ah, I think I know. So this, um, on top of this, there is so this block is powered, and I believe this block is powered because of that redstone. Interesting. So I need to pull that signal off in a way where it's not powering that far block because of the way I'm doing this. So I'm powering... Um, this block up here uh, via that is it this or I'm powering one of these two blocks from the comparator up top powering this top block um, and then I'm pulling it this direction if I were to pull it here or over this direction then I think that might fix it. So we're gonna, instead of pulling it from there, we're gonna pull it from over here. Let's remove some of these. Because then the, the I won't be pointing into this block because the, the way the redstone works right now, it's actually also powering that same block. But if we pull from the other side, so let's make, we need to put one of these back in to support the gravel up top. And then we're gonna put in this. So that's gonna have the redstone signal uh, I guess we're going to need that in a second. Here. And then we want to go uh, one more. Here. No, I guess that's it right there. Okay. So then we can actually... So we condense this a little bit on accident. So we can go like this. 
And if you notice, it flashed on and off briefly. So that's saying right here, or no, actually, there's a re there's one one in reserve. So this one has one one caboose token in reserve. So now we can go up top. And then these don't actually, these aren't blocks we have to worry about. So we'll get rid of those. Let's pop up top. So then we can see this one currently has. Actually, let's fix some of this rail. What we're thinking about. It. So gravel, regular rail. So this, this one has six. Once it gets one more, it absorbs it down. Okay. So that this thing will, will is able to... This is the filter for pulling out caboose tokens. Um, okay. So that, that, that part works well. So then what we want to do is we want to detect that this thing received an item that went through there. So once it detects that, it needs to send a signal... Um, over to these droppers over here and then tell it to send this stuff up So we're gonna have and there's actually three Three droppers involved here. So we kind of want to power um, Each of them So the best way to do that so we're gonna do a couple of different tests To figure out how we want to do that. We have hoppers in there Um because I think if we just power the middle one, that won't quite do it. Right? I don't think. Good try. So let's get rid of some more of this wall. Give ourselves a little bit of space. And then eventually, this is the first one I'm making of these, and then I'll perfect like how to actually make this a little bit more condensed later. <laughs> but for fun, we're doing it in, in survival. Um, all right, so let's go like this. Uh, what blocks are we gonna need? We don't really need those. Okay, so we're gonna put these here, and then we're gonna say we're gonna point those into that. And we're going to um, just to, for our test. We're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna make a button on the end of that, just so we can see how it how it sort of behaves. Okay, so then we can add. Um, we're we're dealing with caboose tokens. So let's say let's put three in the bottom of there, and then let's go to the other side, and let's put three in, and let's see with this configuration how how high up does it really go. So, um, so with the button. So that one went up, so it went into here, and then, okay, so it didn't go all the way up, it just went up one, but that might not be too bad. So we hit it again. This one went up, that one only has one, and then the next hopper up here, uh, interesting. So there might be something like where it's getting powered from its neighbor, so it's not really moving those up the way I would expect on this side. Huh. Um, so that's not really gonna work. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's try something else. Um, so then the other option is that we power the blocks next to them. So let's try this. We're gonna need some redstone torches. Let's go. Let's get rid of some blocks, huh? Um, let's make a chest. Uh, let's get rid of some gravel. And. We don't need all these droppers right now. I might I might try to remember to actually grab all this stuff later, but uh, furnaces, we have two stacks of furnaces, so we'll get rid of those. Okay, so that's that's gonna help a little bit, sort of. So then what we wanna do is we wanna make some redstone torches. Thank you for the host, Toffee. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, um, where was I? Oh, I just realized the time. Oh no, it's a toffee raid. Oh, what? I just realized the time. Oh no. 
Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Tappy. Welcome, uh, Cyborg. Welcome, Tavern LG. Thank you for the raid very much. And, and, you probably, you probably saw it yesterday already, but I have a really awesome raid video that I will play for you now as you approach in your boat. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very, very much. Yeah, I like, I like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, yes, so welcome, everybody. We're working on some redstone here. How was your stream? Uh, that was made by the Puka, who's actually, he was here earlier, but he's got since gone to bed. He works nights, so he, he went to bed. Uh, we're working on some redstone stuff here, which we're actually not going to be able to finish, because I, I just realized I'm basically out of time. Um, but the idea is that I'm trying to bring tokens from some redstone over there over to here and then use them and pull them up and stuff but we are we're out of time unfortunately um became <laughs> i realized i was over time uh, when you rated but let's take a look up here we want to make sure that the rail is still functioning uh so that's not good so what uh there used to be a torch that was powering on that block there so let's let's see what i broke so that used to be Interesting. Unforeseen consequences. So this torch is actually unpowered right now because I have this this line coming through here that's trying to read that. Um, wow, that's a problem. Oh, not really. We can fix that. Uh, we're going to break it in the process, but we're going to pull that line off of this instead. So that should fix it. Let's go up top. Fix the rail. We don't need that. We have lots of other gravel in our inventory. Do, 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 do. And then we'll want dirt to get, be able to get up top. Doot, doot. Okay. So we can fix that by putting this gravel on top and that on top. So now, now that functions and the, our sorter for pulling caboose tokens works. Uh, none of that functions right now. So actually this thing, what this will do is this will actually make the problem worse because I don't have the rest of the redstone. So as the train comes through, um, the raid then lurking. Okay, yeah, enjoy your food. Yeah, I appreciate the raid very much. And then we're gonna do a raid actually in, in a second too. Um, so right now this this is actually makes the problem worse because now each train that comes through coming this direction is gonna drop off an additional caboose token in the process. <laughs> but uh, I don't have the rest of redstone in yet, so for now, we're going to leave it as is. So we're just going to close that up. Um, but eventually, eventually this will solve the problem. So every train that comes through, it'll drop out of a caboose token. It'll detect that the, the cart that's coming through is the caboose token. Or is, rather, is the caboose. And then it'll give two, two, two caboose tokens back. So, um, <laughs> go, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Um, all right. So that is the, uh, it's actually be the end of the stream. Uh, making things worse, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's fine. So I have to remember. I mean, I'll log out here, so I'll remember that this is what we're working on, and then we can try to finish some of the mechanisms. The main thing is like, so as it comes through, I need to send the items up, but only send them up, um, not when it detects that there's an item in there, but when this thing triggers, it needs to send up two caboose tokens into these, so that the car can come by and grab them, but so there's no more left over, otherwise. Um, then there'll be caboose tokens and random stuff and everything will work. So that is, that is the plan for next time.